The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources can now get a bird's eye view of the crimes they investigate. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, the DWR recently launched its first drone team of five conservation officers. Utah can be a very difficult place to investigate crimes like poaching and other wildlife offenses. We have miles and miles of open space and a lot of terrain that's not accessible by roads. A drone can help investigators see past the obstacles. We're always trying to make our officers more efficient. A drone does that. It enables fewer officers to accomplish more investigative work. You can see from our drone how it expands the terrain the operator can see. Captain Chad Betridge helps oversee operations at the DWR. The drone's going to help us uh, with our crime scenes. Uh, it'll help us photograph those. It'll help us find evidence in those. The DWR only has 50 to 55 officers patrolling Utah, and each one covers about 2,500 square miles. The five investigators with the new unmanned aerial systems team had to complete licensing and training requirements with the FAA to become certified on the drones. They are now stationed across the state making us a little quicker and more efficient. Last week, a hunter went missing in the Uinta Basin. Betridge tells me they could have used a drone on that. They plan to assist other agencies with search and rescue. Similar to our canine program, where we've, our dogs have helped a lot on search and rescue uh, situations, we think the drone can be just as beneficial, maybe even in some circumstances more beneficial. Poaching is one of the most common crimes they investigate. The new tool will help them document crime scenes, especially when it involves finding illegally taken wildlife across terrain with no access. There's things we haven't thought of that they're gonna just be incredibly beneficial on. Those investigators are stationed across the state for the most efficient kind of coverage. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.